Okay, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash. Double honor to all elders and apostles of the Great Millstone that will well and taught us this truth. Salutations to the whole for the light scattered abroad, preaching this word and this doctrine in truth, honesty, and sincerity. Shalom. <clears throat> On the Bullet Chakam from the GMS Miami camp, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> um, going into this article that we see here that I just pulled up. Okay, and um, Lord, what in this lesson is edifying through the Spirit? And I'm probably going to title this lesson uh, An Economic Collapse on Babylon is Imminent. Something along those lines. Okay, what we see here on this article is. How the second biggest bank collapse in U.S. history happened in just 48 hours, okay? And the bank that this is uh, talking about is Silicon Valley Bank out in California, all right? Now, to the, to the average prions out there, man, this might, not be, this might not be important or it might not be interesting to them. It might not even... In, uh, they might, they might not even care about this, all right? They might not see it as a big deal, but, hey, man, this is a very big deal, okay? Because what, what this is telling us is that there's a, a economic banking collapse is very imminent, all right? And when I say that, it's not just this bank, but across the board, okay? The Wells Fargo's, the, uh, the Bank of America's, the Chase Banks, the Bank of them, uh, you know, so on and so forth, man. All right, but just to touch on some points on what happened here was, um, it says the company downward spiral began late Wednesday when it surprised investors with the news that it needed to raise $2.25 billion to shore up its balance sheets. The hysteria was induced by a bank run caused by VCs all right, and a bank run is um, when a lot of investors start withdrawing money out of the banks out of fear that the bank uh, might collapse or out of, um, you know, needs to pay their, uh, their employees. All right, and those investors are majority are startup tech companies. All right, it says auto customers withdrew a staggering $42 billion. That's a lot of money. Of deposits by the end of Thursday, according to a California regulatory filing. All right. Now this is huge. Okay. They're comparing this to the sick, the, the the second biggest bank collapse of U.S. history. All right. And what was the first? That is the 2008 financial crisis. All right. That happened and um, it caused what we know the the recession back in 2008. All right, and I remember those days clearly, man. Um, you know, my my father was, he was out of work. All right, a lot of my friends and family members they were out of work, and that led to a huge economic crisis, man. That led to that led to people losing homes. All right, jobs being lost, food was was expensive. All right, employees, uh, you know, they there was a lot of um. There's a lot of people that just couldn't make ends meet, man. But that what that caused was a a a, a, a mortgage crisis too as well. All right, you started seeing homes going on foreclosure. So they're comparing this to those days. All right, and this all this happened in 48 hours. Okay. So um, just to get to the point here, see here it is right there. It says. Regulators, regulators shuttered as SVB Friday and seized its deposits in the largest U.S. banking failure since 2008 financial crisis, and the second largest ever. All right. So they're comparing it to the 2008 financial crisis, man. Okay, look at this right there. This is going to go down as one of those ultimate cases of an industry cutting off its nose off to spite its face. All right. So, so a lot of these um. A lot of these customers in that bank, all right, Silicon Valley, if you might not be aware, 
um, that's where a lot of these tech startup companies um, invest their money in so they could start growing and that's how you, you got the Apples, all right, the Googles, the Amazon, so on and so forth, man, because um, a lot of those companies, uh, they use this bank, Silicon Valley Bank, all right, to make their, uh, you know, to make their investments, to withdraw money. And what happened here was since they took out so much money, it led the bank to go on their negative. I think it was like $2 billion negative. And when they sent that, when they sent that out, they needed um they needed uh uh investors to put in two billion just to stay afloat. So what this caused was pretty much a collapse of the whole entire bank. Alright. So the banks, man, the banks are starting to collapse, alright. So what we're seeing here is a financial collapse on the American complex, the the, the American banking complex, alright? Babylon the Great, which is America, is officially starting to collapse little by little. And this is one of the biggest signs that we've seen already thus far, starting in the year 2023. All right. And we said it, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim and Shai, that post Passover, all right, which we're still in the Feast of Unleavened Bread, we're going to see some big things happen, man. All right. And this is just something small. All right. We, we understand that we're in the Lord's movie. All right. This is His will. But what we're seeing here. Um, like I said to the average person, to the average Jew out there, this not might be a big deal, but this is very, very crucial because as the man of the Lord, you know, we got to look at these things, man. All right. Because ultimately what are we waiting for? All right. Waiting on that karagma. Okay. So these banks that collapse, man, this is something huge and it's going to take, um, and, and it's going to actually cause a ripple effect on the economy. All right. When these, um, when these tech startups aren't able to withdraw their money, all right, because only certain uh, tech startup companies that have less than 250000 are going to be able to touch their money starting Monday. Okay, as per the FDIC, I believe. Um, what about those other companies that are going to be able to touch their money? They're not going to be able to pay their employees, and what is that going to cause? That's going to cause a huge loss of employees, all right? So the, the tech world is gonna collapse all right and we and we could see that because the tech world is pretty much on the forefront of um a lot of this uh you know modern age uh technology that's going on and tech technology is really is is a luxury all right so the the tech world in america is going to collapse all right and we need to look at these things all right because we know what's the ultimate prophecy that we need to be that that needs to be fulfilled before the return of uh Yahweh Shai, all right, all right, which is the Karakma man, okay. So we know what Esau is doing, man. He's destroying the banking, uh, system and the banking complex of America so he could usher in that Karakma, okay. And a lot of these other camps, man, they might not be into this because, all right, it, it it doesn't go according to their doctrine, but these things are huge because it's little breadcrumbs that. We're seeing that's going to lead ultimately to that the M O T to the B, okay? Because we're not ignorant of uh, Satan is uh, huh, you know Satan's devices. Oh, let me get it here real quick. <clears throat> oh, I believe that's um Corinthians. I got it here. This uh Second Corinthians chapter two verse eleven. All right. Okay, this is a second Corinthians. Chapter 2, verse 11. <clears throat> oh, hold on, Salakia. Second Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 11. Salakia. Let's say it should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, so we know what Satan is doing, man. All right, and who's Satan being uh, played on on this earth, man? That's Esau. All right, Esau, the so-called white man. We know what Esau's doing, all right? We see... 
that he's trying to destroy the the economy on America so he could usher in that that karagma, all right? So we not we're not ignorant, man. All right, the two thirds and some of these other Israelites, man. That all right? They, they, this doesn't fall according to the doctrine. They're gonna be caught up out there, and they're gonna be confused, man. They're gonna be ignorant to Satan's devices. All right, but we know that all these is is being set up to ultimately usher in that karagma. All right, which is gonna lead to what? To the second Ezra, the the fifteen uh, chapter fifteen, the second Ezra chapter sixteen. All right, when there's not to be no work going on, you know, in Egypt, all right, neighbors going to be busting in the other neighbors' homes, all right, women's going to be being ravished, there's going to be no food in the grocery stores, okay, so this this is huge, man, all right, <clears throat> back to the article, this is huge, okay, this this is the 15th largest bank in America and it's and officially collapsed, all right, and what is this going to cause other banks to collapse? Well, the article was saying that what happened was it was a bank run that caused this collapse. Too many people started withdrawing the money, all right? So what is this tells us really is that if the people, the American people start taking out money out of their accounts out of fear, all right, from the banks, that's gonna cause the banks to collapse, man. And what do we see that happen with Bank of America? All right, where a lot of money, um, a lot of uh, customers with Bank of America, they started losing or they they pretty much lost or their money disappeared out of their bank accounts. So imagine that gets, imagine that happens again on Wells Fargo or Chase, all right? Out of fear, a lot of these uh, customers, they're going to withdraw the money out of their banks, all right? And that's going to cause a banking collapse, all right? Like never before, okay? And after this, economic collapse on America, all right, there's no fixing America, from here on out, man, we going, America's going straight downhill, okay, there's no fixing America, there's going to be no laws that's going to be passed to fix this, there's not going to be no bailouts, okay, because this, this empire, man, this is through, all right, America's through, and we're seeing it right here happening in real time, okay, Babylon the Great is, is collapsing, man, Babylon the Great is collapsing. Call along like a Bashim al Shai. And we're seeing it, all right, through also as well as the, um, you know, the supply chain system, all right, the logistics, all right, such as all these railroads being derailed, all right, um, eggs, you know, just simple stuff as eggs, all right, they cost double now, okay? The railroads are derailing and there's a lot of uh, chemicals that are, are being spilled out on, on on America on American soil, okay. Um, so little by little, you know, we see America getting getting hit with plagues, man. Okay, so <laughs> hey man, America is through. All right, the second biggest, okay, the second biggest bank collapse in U.S. history happened in just forty eight hours, man. All right, so hey, well, there's a lot more stuff ready to come to America. Let's get ready. All right, buckle in your seatbelts. All right, cause Hey, man, this year's about to get hot, man. And we've seen it play off with stuff like this, all right? Because this is big, okay? All right? Now we just got to see all these other banks collapse, and then what? And then we're going to get the MOTB, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna, they're going to usher in the MOTB, all right? America's going to get that uh, that mandatory. Uh, um, they're going to get, they're, they're going to introduce that mandatory MOTB, man. So this is this is all playing a part for that. Okay, so with that, man, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak, Dash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone of GMS that rule well and taught us this truth. Salutations to the whole for the light scattered abroad. Little one, this lesson was edifying. Shalom.